Hello, I am the Maskermind. Uh, first, you know, before I start, damn, I just got off a 12 hour shift. I got off at 2.30 a.m. I went in at 2.30 in the afternoon until 2.30 a.m. And it's a little after 3 now in the morning. And this is really the only time I can make videos basically is when I get off work. Uh, but I want to talk about Django Unchained. Um, starring Jamie Foxx, Christopher Waltz, Leonardo DiCaprio, Kerry Washington, and Samuel L. Jackson. You know, this movie is just basically about a guy, a slave named Django, who gets bought by uh, Christopher Waltz's character. Um, and he basically teaches him how to be a uh, bounty hunter. Um, that's basically the plot. And, you know, his wife it was sold, and basically they go out to try, he tries to find his wife. Guys, this movie is fucking awesome. It is, like, probably the best movie I've seen this year, so far. So well done. The fucking, just, I, I honestly can't think of one bad thing about this film. I really can't. For, for one, I'm not really a big fan of any of these characters, to be honest with you. Leonardo DiCaprio, mm, and he just came out of the closet, too, not too long ago, which really surprised me. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio, he's a great actor, but I don't really like it, the things that he's in. Like, what was it, Shutter Island or whatever. I didn't care for that one too much. The only thing he was really in that I cared for was no, this now and uh, Titanic. <laughs> Titanic really is a good movie. I really did enjoy that. But um, Christopher Waltz, I've never really seen much of him. Um, Samuel L. Jackson, I do like. Um, right, we got a lot to talk about. A lot to talk. A lot to talk about on this. And another thing, I mean, I, I've never been a real big fan of Quentin Tarantino to begin with. So actually, I thought I was gonna not like this at all. But this was so fucking awesome, so well done. The the score, the like the, the music is just great. It goes along with it. The the gore, my god, the fucking gore, the blood splatters is awesome. I, I figured, you know, a lot of people told me there was a lot of blood, a lot of head, a lot of um, heads getting blown up and shit. But I'm like, yeah, okay, it's gonna be another CGI mess. No, it was practically done. A lot of it was. Some of it happened really quick to where I couldn't even really tell. Or I couldn't even really figure out if it was CJ or not. But, uh, um, that, damn. There's a scene at the end, and you guys know what I'm talking about when you see it. Or if you already have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. There's a scene toward the end that I've actually never seen that much blood in this kind of movie. Um... Jamie Foxx's character, Django, he, he, you know, these guys walk in and he just starts <laughs> just killing them all and um, just blood just gooshes out. They fall down dead and he uses one of them as like a meat shield on the ground. So they're like shooting at him and they're like hitting this dead body and the fucking blood just <laughs> and then a piece of skin pops out and more blood gushes out behind that. And I'm thinking... Wow. And, like, I'm not kidding. The walls literally get painted red. And that scene was awesome. That, that scene is just what made me just absolutely fall in love with this. Not, I mean, not just that. There was just other stuff, too. Like, there was just... Um, the scene at the beginning when uh, Christopher Wallace's character shoots the dude right in the head. He falls down. Then he shoots the horse in the head. <laughs> That was pretty cool. Um, but it really wasn't overdone. Like, it may seem like it was overdone, but it just made it really great. I, you know, as much as I love gore and blood, it, I love blood in movies. It just makes it seem more realistic. And uh, it was awesome. And my best friend told me that she didn't think I was going to like it. And then when I did told her that this is probably one of the best movies I've seen this year, one of the best movies, not the best movie, I mean, um, probably the best movie I've seen in the last couple years is Dread. I did like Dread 
a little more than this, but not too much more. Uh, this really was awesome. Uh, like I said, guys, Quentin Tarantino was never a real big... Oh, Quentin Tarantino does make a uh, cameo in this. God, that guy is one ugly bastard, ain't he? Holy shit. Looks like he jumped out of an airplane and forgot to open his parachute. <laughs> That's what it seemed like. Damn. That's a face I only a mother can love, I'll tell you. Um, but yeah. Great fucking film. And the end, also, it looks great on blue. Uh, let's see, the special, there's a few, there's quite a bit of special features actually on this. There's uh, reimagining re the spaghetti western. The horses and stunts of Django. Uh, remembering J. Michael Rivera, Riva, the production design of Django Unchained. The costume designs. 20 years in the making. Uh... Django Unchained soundtrack spot. So there's a, a few special features that I have not checked out yet, but I will. Uh, guys, I just haven't had time to do a whole lot lately. Like this, this is the first movie I watched in about two days. Well, last night I started watching Puppet Master. <laughs> Talk about cheese. But anyways, uh, I gotta finish watching Puppet Master before I head to bed. And but uh, yeah. Very enjoyable, and I actually give this a 10 out of 10. Easy. Um, you know, I gave Dread a 10 out of 10, and uh, but I did like Dread a little better. Like I said, those of you know, Dread is just one of my favorite movies now. Uh, I just I just fucking love that movie. It was so well done. But uh, this is very well done. And it was very similar to, I mean, it, it kind of had a feel like uh, Inglorious Bastards did. Um, which I did like that movie a little bit. It was alright. But this one, damn, was awesome, guys. I always used to think this was pronounced Django. Django Unchained. Uh, but no, Django. D is silent. But... And the characters are so fucking believable in this. So fucking believable. Like, Leonardo DiCaprio's character, for one, I've never heard him talk with with one of those old-fashioned uh, southern accents. I'm not talking about, hey, y'all, how you doing? I'm talking about, like, foghorn, leghorn southern. Like, I say, I say boy, w w what are you doing there, boy? Like, that kind of accent. So, <laughs> you gotta compare it to foghorn, leghorn, you know? But uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was great. You almost forgot he was Leonardo DiCaprio there for a minute. Holy shit. He just seemed so different than anything I've ever seen him in. Which, Inception, he was pretty great in Inception. And he pretty much acts the same in every movie. But in this, he had a, he had a fucking accent dead on. Uh, yeah, but just great movie, guys. Just great. If you haven't seen it, definitely check this out. Um, it really surprised me how good it was. Very simple plot. It's easy to understand, you know, for most people. So definitely check it out. And I like, I like, I've never been really been a big fan of like the western style movies. But the only thing I ever, ever really liked about them is the fact that they use old school revolvers. And I love revolvers, you know. I carry gun, I carry gun... I carry two guns on me at all times, actually. Uh, I'm going to show them to you now. Right here. And right here. And the holsters are made out of cotton. You know. <clears throat> but anyways. <laughs> yeah. I make Arnold Schwarzenegger look like a little bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, I love Schwarzenegger. Uh, but anyways, guys. Django Unchained. 10 out of 10. Check it out. And remember... You've had a good time with the Masker Mind.